Good morning, adventures. Good morning. We arrived here to Wales yesterday. Mm-hmm. It was a lovely little easy drive in. Yeah, we're gonna be exploring the surrounding area we're in. We actually drove over just a few miles to a town called Conwy. It's super charming. It's got old medieval walls. They've got the castle that we might go explore later. And we just stumbled upon this really cool church. It's a little ominous because it's, it's a graveyard, but. So the <clears> town <throat> is really tiny and it's completely walled, I guess. Uh, it's really beautiful. It sits right on the river. We're staying just across from here. So we can see the castle sometimes when we're driving through town. It's really cool. Yeah, so now we're nice. here up close and personal. They're doing a lot of construction on it though, or yeah. restorations, I guess. There's a lot of scaffolding, but we'll try to, to work around it but first we are gonna go have ourselves a full welsh breakfast yes and we actually had no clue this was a thing um but i think it's really similar to a full english breakfast they just yeah. call it full welsh so we're excited <laughs> to, to try and see if it's actually any different but the cafe is just right over here well here's the place we were going to it's called a uh, time cafe and they are apparently renovating on the inside. It'll, so it is not open. It'll become the Midland, apparently. How come it didn't say that on Google? Dang, it didn't I say that it's know. literally like destroyed on the inside. <laughs> what the heck? We managed to find a charming little place called Elle's Bookshop, I think is what it is. Yes, I think Ordered so. Ordered some coffee? Oh yeah. Yeah. We were trying desperately to find another restaurant with a full Welsh breakfast, but we couldn't get, our Wi-Fi just is so bad and it yeah. wouldn't load anything and it started raining and so we popped in here because the only picture that would load was of a full Welsh breakfast. They don't seem to have it. They stopped serving yeah, breakfast. Yeah, they stopped serving breakfast because it took us so long to find another place so we got kind of screwed but that being said, we ordered some delicious food and we have some delicious coffee here so I'm, I'm still happy. What is this? I don't know. <laughs> this was supposed to be a nice latte. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's cold at least. That's definitely just iced milk. Oh no, it tastes like coffee in there. Really? Oh, it's really frothy. Like they blended it. Oh, that's what he's blending back there. Wow, that's good. Yeah, yeah it's nice almost job. like a coffee milkshake. All right. Our lunch has arrived. It looks really good. I got this like a uh, fried chicken basket. So we've got these awesome looking chicken strips. We've got a little pot of baked beans and then a little basket of fries over here. Chips, I mean. Chips. <laughs> chips. And then I got ham and eggs with chips and salad and some onion chutney. It's not the full Welsh breakfast we were hoping for, but I am definitely okay with this. If you guys want to know the secret to good time lapses, this is how you do it. You put a mayonnaise packet underneath your camera. Yeah, that's a mayonnaise packet we stacked it up on. When we were looking on Google Maps, we saw a little landmark that said the smallest house in Britain. It's actually just a couple blocks from where we were eating our lunch. And uh, <laughs> it is tiny. I, I guess it's one of the things that the city is known for. We're gonna go check it out right now. There's a bunch of people in front of it. So before we head in, we wanted to give you guys some backstory on this tiny house. So it is in the Guinness Book of World Records as the smallest house in Great Britain. It was in continuous occupation from the 16th century and was even inhabited by a family at one point. So it says on Wikipedia, until 1900 when a, one guy lived in it who was a fisherman who was like six foot tall, they ended up kicking him out because of hygiene reasons, it says. It's pretty ambiguous, but I guess he couldn't even stand up properly in there because the ceiling was so short. It's a very interesting little place, but now we are going to go check out the inside. Oh is this really a house? This is, I'm not sure what I was expecting, but it's very, very small. So let me see if I can kind of show you guys. So you walk in the door and then this is the hole downstairs. That's it. And then there's a staircase right here. Yeah, or a like ladder really. The tiny house pioneer. Like the OG. Yeah. That's amazing. Right. Going up. Let's see what the upstairs is like. It's tight fit. Okay. Shouldn't have worn the backpack. Okay. Alright. Oh, yeah. There's a bedroom. <laughs> Check it out. This is kind of cozy. I mean, it smells a little uh, cave-like, but it's pretty cool. Okay, I gotta get back down. <laughs> I should have set the backpack down. 
Nailed it. Smallest house in Great Britain. Look at this little thing. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, so there used to be whole structures next to it. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's really 1900. cool. Yeah. So oh, that's what it looked like in 1900. It was this little sliver. That's when it started as a show place. No yeah. way. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, this place is just too cool. So I got some postcards for our patrons. Okay, so, check it out. It's the actual house. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I used to get everyone the exact same postcard, or like from all the, from the same place, but I've started doing them from a, like slightly different cities or countries so that you guys all get something very unique. Yes. I can't wait for these ones. So if you do get this one, make sure you tweet at us a picture of it so we yeah, know who got them. Know. So now that we're on the outside, you can see this is the spot here that we saw in the picture that was uh, full of houses. So there's a whole row of houses here and this was just, the tiny house was just kind of sandwiched in there. But now it's just isolated on its own. <laughs> So these are the town walls, and these walls and the castle itself were built by Edward I when he was trying to conquer what was then the Principality of Wales, and that was back between 1283 and 1289. The walls are still impressively intact, and there's actually still a section that dates back to the 13th century, and they still surround the entire city, which is very amazing. We've been to a lot of walled cities, but sometimes it's not always completely walled. We saw some people walking on top of the wall, so I guess you're allowed to do that. And we just looked down this alleyway and saw a flight of stairs, so. <laughs> we just assumed you'd have to pay and enter yeah. somewhere. Doesn't say you have to pay though. That's pretty cool. That's surprising. It's dangerous to climb on the stonework, yeah. but it doesn't say you can't. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh, check this out. A little out of breath. I'm not feeling too bad. <laughs> I might need to work out more. Maybe, but this view, if you had to work out to make it up to this view every day, you might work out more. I can do it then. So we are in the castle now. It was 10 pounds a person, or an adult, to get in here. I don't remember what kids were, less. But, so like we mentioned earlier, the castle was built in tandem with the city walls, so in the late 1200s. Yeah, and it was actually built, we read, for a whopping sum of 15,000 pounds, which apparently was a ton of money to pay for a castle back then. Obviously it's in ru ruin now, but to imagine this being built for 15,000 pounds seems insane. You could you could hardly even like repair one section, <laughs> one part of this castle oh for 15,000 pounds. I can't imagine how many millions have gone into it since yeah. then. This is really neat. You can tell how these all used to be archways, like that one back there, because you can see where they connected over there. So this was probably all either interior or it just at least had the archways kind of on top of it. It's pretty crazy. suspension bridge right behind me was built from 1822 to 1826 and they say that it replaced the ferry system so I guess there was no bridge here prior to this now it's pedestrian only as you can see they've also added uh, a driving bridge and a train bridge but 
This one is really cool because it was built in a really unique style by a guy, I think Manet was his name, and he has a couple other bridges like it. But it's a really beautiful addition, I think. And it's kind of cool how the train just runs straight through the castle, so you can see the tracks down there kind of running through that part of the castle. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Oh, and to give you uh, just a little perspective, the castle was built, would you say, 15,000 pounds? Yeah. The bridge, this bridge costs a little over 50,000 pounds, <laughs> so... So from the what? Yeah. The so this is like three times more expensive than the entire castle. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> <That's> crazy <laughs> for this little guy. <laughs> We're back at our place. Look who's hanging out with us. Oh, you guys, our host has the cutest, sweetest little dog. I'm not sure what his or her name is. But <laughs> I can't remember. She kept saying it, and we, I can't remember. <laughs> He's just so freaking Gosh. cute. He just randomly comes in here and jumps on the bed with us. You're welcome <laughs> on our bed anytime. Such a funny sound. <clears throat> But anyways, we actually almost forgot to do the uh, ending and then we were like, hey, we should do it while the dog's on the bed. <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed exploring the town of Con... Where were we? Conway? 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 With us today. Um, we had a blast. It was a lot of fun. It was so pretty. Yeah. Such a lovely day. Not everything worked out the way we wanted it to, but that's all right. That's okay. Yeah. I think we're going to do like a hike or something tomorrow, right? Yeah, Get it's out in cool. nature. I think... I think this is a perfect little introduction into Northern Wales. I think we'll have to come back and spend a lot more time here. Yeah, this is going to be a quick trip, but yeah. we definitely intend to come back and yeah. see it properly. But we're trying to make it up to um, Scotland so we can go to the Cowl Gathering, the, the Highland Games. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's so been a bucket list item for us, so yeah. we're really excited to do that. But it's this weekend, so we have to kind of move on out quickly. So tomorrow we'll have one more full day here, and we'll be on the road again. Good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road. <laughs> <laughs>